All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Welcome to the new year, everyone. It's good to be back. I uh, took a good break, spent time with family and everything. And uh, I've been in the process of healing. I, I kind of like tweaked my back a little bit a couple days ago, so wasn't too good. Went to the doctor and uh, pretty much didn't like I have like two weeks of healing so just keep me in your prayers for that one but anyways welcome back to a brand new year welcome to 2023 and I'm starting it off with some more Witcher 3 this will probably be uh, the only series I keep on going with until like you know the next anticipated game comes out but thank you so much for such an amazing year by the way really means a lot to me all the love and support and we made it to a brand new milestone as well so thank you guys like it's crazy we got like another hundred subscribers and like just a matter of weeks that's just incredible so that being said leave a like for more of the witcher 3 wild hunt and let's do this all right open up so i uh, did something I went ahead and got delusion level two, so let me do that. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nice, we're in, baby. What ails you? Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation. Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. Vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd of rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, Folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine, and me friends, but that's a tale for another time. 
for now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Gotta find Siri. Guess this is what all this game is about, is finding Siri. I wonder what happens when we do find her. You know? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Hmm. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went bad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Trapdoor. Oh, here it is. Let's do this, baby. Ah! Oh, shoot! Okay, then. Oh my god. Ow! Really? Get out of here. Burn to death. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. There must be a lever on this wall that'll open a secret passage. Hmm. 
Doing some Witcher sensing. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, never mind. I assume it's right there. Woo! Look at all this stuff, man. A lot of stuff to loot here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Free city of Neverland. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. He seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. <laughs> All right, here we go. See stuff down there. Going down. Maybe this is it? I don't know. Oh, yep. Here we go. Leather sack. I think I got it. Oh, we got some new armor. Let's go, baby. Let's see this armor real quick. And we got new rafts. Look at that. It's like golden. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I thought we got new armor. What happened? I'm not seeing it. I guess it. I guess my eyes were wrong. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. <laughs> Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Nice. You seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. So we got the package. I wonder what was in it. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Triss, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Triss? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. 
All right then, let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Okay. Ah! I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. More over here. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really. Oh. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Is she doing it? Well. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the? Are you kidding me, game? Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Seriously? That's funny. That is funny. I didn't show you guys the loading time, by the way. L look how fast this loads. Doesn't take that long at all. In like 10 seconds. And there you go. <laughs> We're in it just like that. It's like 15 seconds. Pretty nice. As the Emperor's spies told it, Ceri had reached Novigrad. On the world? A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Miracle. Uh, okay. <laughs> now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my Witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> So, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just, it's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine, not bad. She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. There they go. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, wow. sorceress, what have you. 
didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell, you should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Really? Should have paid in advance. Get it from both. Come on. Ooh, baby. That bastard hired me on the assumption he wouldn't have to pay me. Didn't have to be a big child. If not for you, we need to find Brandon. Yeah, hold on. Let me take a look at these. Nope, nothing's better. I should probably sell it when I get a chance. Hey, douchebag. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is... You'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. <laughs> Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri, and I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted him Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the Bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. I like Triss. She's a good friend for sure. Hey, pretty boy. What do I want you? Okay, it looks like we are going around. Oh. Just passing by, Wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers run around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. All right, I'm not gonna steal anything while I'm here. Hmm. 
look around. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Oh, Kareen! What the? Is that Johnny? Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. <sighs> Gotta go to the attic now. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Right here. That looked like Johnny, by the way. Not seeing a doll. Oh, hang on. Ah, crap. What do I... Can't remember what to do. I think it's... A telekinetic blast. There we go. Sure, I can take things down here. Oh, got new trousers. Hang on. About time we got some new trousers. Let's see. Yep, it's better too. Perfect. Musty hammerhead. Oh, nice! Got some new armor as well. Now that is armor, right? <laughs> I'm not crazy. Oh, here we go. Wait. What? Hold on. Tell me to go back? Oh! Didn't even see that. How do I... I can't pick it up. It's like some kind of book and I can't pick it up. Um... Well, that made it worse, didn't it? Maybe that's not it? It's telling me to go above now. What the heck? I heard that. It said search the attic. So, I, I mean, this is the attic. Not seeing anything. Wait. Um. Let me just loot everything. Okay. I'm stuck. I'm so confused. Like, what? Brought me to down here. I'm not seeing anything. There's another thing I can loot. I looted everything. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything else. Let's go back up. Even though it says, uh, search the... Why do I hear that? Is 
It says there's a doll. Just checking everything to see if there's like a doll, maybe? What was that? Keep saying go above. Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! Keep saying above. Destroying objects. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Okay, I'm gonna keep going up. Because I keep saying above. Way to the next room's blocked. Not anymore. Hello? There's the doll. Okay. <laughs> Drawing of a crib. I think I got everything. It says examine the drawing. Oh, the drawing that I just got? Probably under quest items, right? There it is. By a child, it seems. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. True! Second floor. Put the doll in the crib. Oh, it says it's above. Hang on. There it is. Uh oh. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Alrighty then. Let's go to the cellar. Oh, I thought this was the attic. <laughs> My bad. Oh my god. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep. And I've sent her some horrible dreams. Or not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. This is no game. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rays. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there, all empty, so I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. 
I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Guess I'll have to throw you out then. <laughs> Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Nice. Alright, that worked out. Let's go wake her up this time. She's up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Okay. Well, that was good. Meet Corian at the Golden Sturgeon. Oh, hold on. Let's get out of here. Now we gotta tell the guy it's haunted. Gotta lie to him. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Oh no. I know why the house is haunted. Oh no. Shoot. What if I break the deal? Oh, shoot. This is a tough one, you know. I don't want the house to be haunted, but, like, it's it's her that's haunting it. Um. Mmm. I want to say... Frick, I I'm sorry. Got a godling in your house. Name's Sarah, and she's an ornery little thing. Left her alone, but thought I should tell you about her. I thank you for being candid. Could you rid me of this beast? You can do it yourself. Just burn some burdock in the oven. She's sure to run. Godlings detest the smoke. I will not wage war on a beast, large or small. Piss on the godling, piss on the house. I must merely find a fool willing to buy it. Oh. Well then. Okay. The I'm out of here. Man, that was crazy. Man, this game, I, I really can't seem to put this game down. It's just so much fun. It's a, it's addicting. There's so much to do. And it's just mission after mission. And we're not even halfway done with this game yet. I just looked it up uh, not too long ago and I'm like, oh wow. This game's longer than I thought. Non-human, are you? Challenger. Looks for your kind beyond the pile driver. 
Oh, uh, she's above? To lead this city, um. Oh, there it is. I'll make you weep. Round, ram. Time again. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met, trained her at Kermorin, saved her life. Um. Ooh. Say I trained her? Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Um... Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yeah. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Uh, let's move on. No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Hmm. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. There's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. 
can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and tell her you're silly. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot. Dandelion? Am I wearing oven mitts? What's going on there? The dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Oh, I'm sure I will. Standing on the bed. Nice. Boring. I hope we see more of uh, Triss. Hopefully, like that's not like the end of everything. You know, she was actually a really cool character. All right, go to the Rosemary and Time. Uh oh. Why do they always hate me, man? Leave me alone. I guess I did a bad thing to him. There we go. I was like, what just happened to the pathway? We are scrum before I lose my patience. Locked. Well, what? Slap a new life takes you. I'll never come back, you stinking scadges. Oh, next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? The local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Let's do it. Come on, man! Oh! Back out of here! Yeah! Mm. 
Never left Birdie. That's right. Better run. Ah, uh, please. That went well. Now we can beat each other like the gods of me. Aegis, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Gradanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered the better. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. The ground floor, huh? Well, where are the stairs at? Oh. From the finest vineyards, every last one. Aha! This is the ground floor. From a grateful muse. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Got some over here. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Huh. <laughs> Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. I'm sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. All right, read Dandelion's planner. Like a rose, a bash from crimson blue. Oh, wow. Okay, that is quite a lot to do. I guess we'll start. Look awfully suspicious to me, Trap. Oh wow. We're outside finally. Outside of the city. Alright, there's a well, there's a current position right here. 
Broken flowers. That is a lot of broken flowers. Oh my goodness. Quite a bit. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Oh. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. I'll pay what she owes. Too bad. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The king of beggars? Mine. Yeah. Mine. Offered her a better rate. Alright. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Any last words? Bring it on. Woo. Let's go, baby! Woo, we got some animations! Oh, really? Get back! Nice. Covered in blood, all of it! So much work for naught! No need to thank me, it was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dang. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if you dropped by. Ooh, look at this lighting. That's kind of beautiful, you know. All right, let's go do another one. Talk to Elahal or whatever. Yep. Welcome. I'm a friend of Dandelion's. Looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. No. Any better? No way. So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> what happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. 
Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Oh, gosh. All right, well. Now, uh, I guess we can go find Marabella. Greetings. Greetings. Stop. It's actually pretty far away. Well, not too far, but it's all good and gravy. Help, save me. I'm dying. You're dying? Oh, jeez. I've had enough of it. This is quite a lengthy mission, isn't it? Alright, Marabella. Who could you be? Wait, does this say my armor's broken? Guess I could just wear this then. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if I like that or not, but uh, at least I'll have clean armor on. <laughs> Works for me, I guess. Miserable and hungry. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Um. Uh, yeah, alright. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come Mom? after all. Where are you? Guess I'll wait a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> 